Bless the Lord, O my soul, blessed are thou, When I was a 10-year-old boy, I attended a vacation Bible school at our Lutheran church in Spokane, Washington. That particular summer, our pastor taught us about the Old Testament temple in Jerusalem. He taught us how God had, was the creator and in fact the architect of that temple down to the, even to how the priests and the high priests serving in that temple were to be dressed. And how the Lord of hosts was to be worshiped in that temple. I was very moved by the whole thing and I kept thinking, how is it? In fact, I, in fact, I asked the pastor, how is it that the architect of the cosmos who cared so much about how he was worshipped that he designed the temple and the vestments and told each of the level of priests what they were to do in that temple. Cared so much about how he was worshipped, but he doesn't seem to care now. And the pastor told that 10-year-old boy that was because they were under the old law. And in the New Testament church, we are under the new law. So all of that has been canceled out. And I remember thinking as that little boy, what a lame answer. It didn't make sense to me because God is eternal and unchanging. So why would he care about how he was worshiped then, but not care now? Many years later, many, many years later, I walked into Holy Virgin Joy of All Who Sorrow Cathedral in San Francisco and attended the first hierarchical liturgy of my life. And at the time I was still an atheist and I was just simply curious. And as I was standing there and I was amazed at the vestments that the priests were wearing, and then the Archbishop came in and stood in the center of the cathedral to be vested. And as the service progressed, an archpriest went into the altar through a deacon's door. And the next thing, the veil was opened and the royal doors were opened. And I beheld for the very first time the Holy of Holies. And at that moment, I knew that my question as a 10-year-old had been answered. God does care about how he's worshipped. And we still have the Old Testament Holy of Holies. And now it is in every Orthodox Church. Within Holy Orthodoxy, we believe that every time we enter into the Divine Liturgy, we enter a place where there is neither time nor space. We enter into the heavenly realm. It is a place where the Church triumphant in heaven is joined to the Church militant here on earth. And together we worship before the throne of God bowing down before the Holy Trinity. And I also knew after I became Orthodox that unlike the Lutherans that I grew up with, we do not view the people of the Old Testament as being the only 
holders of the epist of the ancient church, but we see ourselves as Orthodox Christians to be the chosen people. The chosen people because we, just like the Jews of the New Testament who embraced Christ as the Messiah, are now part of those people as members of the body of Christ and as the chosen people. Glory to God for all things. Son and immortal word.